Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This fibromyalgia uh, experienced long-lasting severe pain in their muscles and other soft uh, tissues through their bodies. Yes. I'd like to know the diagnosis and the GPS location of each and every bit. Individuals that um, that uh, feel anxious, depressed, or uh, stressed. Mm -hmm. It affects more women than men. Oh. Now, let's say you're a woman, okay? You're attractive and you have fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. And I think that I have some technology that could diminish the amount of nerve ending uh, pain that you've been experiencing. Mm -hmm. It involves being super beautiful. You might have large breasts, might be in your 30s and want to have a baby. Yes. <laughs> Could involve some hot tubbing with other women that just don't fit the actual limitations of breast size of those that I'd like to have butterfly kisses with. Yes, <laughs> could involve some naked sauna. <laughs> and uh, we could do some naturopathic types of health treatments for those that have experienced fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, let's say that there's some artificial light that's being used to sensitize your nerve endings. <laughs> And uh, those that are in control of the technology <laughs> have caused um, repairable harm. Yes, but it's not uh, not injury that they're not liable for. <laughs> now, I know a lot of the pharmaceutical companies, they've done their best to relieve you of all that pain. <laughs> Less pain can be more active. <laughs> But let's say I found out that you were using an artificial lighting system, the electric grid, some sonar. <laughs> Maybe a dogfish twin that needs to come to find out every time they're stimulated. <laughs> that uh, cannot have a soft dick until they come. <laughs> now, the messenger chemicals that may be uh -huh, involved are the serotonin <laughs> and the no re in a friend, yes, and other doctors think an imbalance of the messenger chemicals occurs first. So, leads to altered moods. You're a little moody sometimes. Poo. Sleeplessness. You try to go to sleep and you can't. Pain, tenderness, and other symptoms. Now, uh, they, they prescribe antidepressants for you that are experiencing fibromyalgia. You know, I, I made some recorded calls about the electric grid and how the street lights only go on at night instead of during the day. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Somebody hasn't been amping the actual houses of American citizens so they could be on them, <laughs> so that they could uh, be on them when they're fucking each other. <laughs> uh, because you had to take every big-titted woman everywhere in the world. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm looking for some women that well, H-I-J-K-L might be L-breasted or larger that say, well, you know, I could I could do some health treatments where I do a lot of sweating because I still have that magazine and I think it's good. In fact, I want to get it out. Yes, it does. <laughs> There's nothing that I would like to see more than 10 really large-breasted women in a sauna without any clothes on that have tan lines because of the use. <laughs> Sounds like it's some sort of some some thought, but I have to have certain rules. Yes, he does. Now, since I didn't get enough time yesterday, oh, I want to get this out again because this whole thought of reducing cholesterol, yes, mm -hmm, and living a longer life. I'm big on living to the age of 120. <laughs> And it's somewhat self-seeking because I like to commit suicide, yes, but I don't want to do it until I'm 119. <laughs> I know it's a crime, okay, and we should make fun of those that are suicidal. <laughs> um, but for myself, it's something I want to experience. <laughs> Doing something illegal like killing myself, <laughs> but the Bible says you can't live past 120. <laughs> I thought I'd test God on that when I'm 119. <laughs> I know those are fighting words. <laughs> Is it? You know, I'm 48 years old. Do you know how long I have to wait to be able to do this? No. <laughs> well, if you add 50 to 48, what do you get? 98? Yes. 60? <laughs> 70 years. 70 years from now, I get to do what's illegal. <laughs> now, I know you'd say you need to censor that. and it violates community guidelines to talk about committing suicide. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes.